Hi everyone, let me show you how you can use Google Image Effects to create consistent images for your storytelling videos all for free. At the end of this video, you are definitely going to stop using Mid Journey AI, Leonardo AI, plus other paid AI tools that you are currently using to create your consistent images. The amazing thing about this image effects is that it is free and also easy to use. So I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into this video. You all know that to create an image for your video, you first need your script. You can write the script in so many ways the first way is by brainstorming to come out with your script and the second way is by asking ChatGPT to write the script for you now what i did was to sketch the script and ask ChatGPT to write the story for me based on my idea so you can see ChatGPT has expanded it and has written the story for me based on the ideas i gave it now the next thing i did was to ask ChatGPT to list all the characters in the story for me and you can see ChatGPT has listed all the characters in the story for me we have seven different characters that we are going to work with now i want you to take note of this whatever i'm discussing currently is a point i am building to create consistent images so make sure you watch the video to the end do not skip because i'm going to explain everything into details for you now after listing all the characters i asked that gpt i want to create consistent images throughout my story please give me a text prompt describing each of these characters so you can see ChatGPT gave me a prompt des describing all the characters the main protagonist in this story is Chamaka we, and another character we have in the story is Emeka then when you scroll down you can also see ChatGPT has given me other description of the rest of the characters so you can see the seven characters has been described perfectly for me now I want you to take note of this whether you generate the prompt yourself or you ask ChatGPT to generate the prompt for you every good prompt is supposed to have these four elements the the first element is the subject with a detailed description. The second element is the, the action the subject is performing in that particular prompt. And the third element is the background or the setting. And the fourth one is other supporting elements in the background. Now let me use this prompt as an example to explain the element I just listed. This is the prompt ChatGPT generated about Chiamaka, a realistic full body image of Chiamaka, a 25 year old African woman with smooth brown skin and a bright intelligent smile. She has short neatly trimmed hair and wears a vibrant African traditional dress with a bold patterns red and gold. So right from the beginning to this point is a detailed description of the main subject that is Chiamaka. Her age was included, the gender was included included her appearance plus even the dress she's wearing is included the second part is the action chiamaka is performing in this particular prompt so you can see chiamaka is standing the main thing she's doing is standing in a university park surrounded by other supporting elements so you can see all the four elements i listed is in this particular prompt so what i'm going to do is to copy the prompt and paste it in my google docs now you can see i've divided the text into different colors i'm going to explain this very soon now let's go back to ChatGPT for the next command. So now the next thing I asked ChatGPT was maintain the description for each of these characters and give me some scenes of Chiamaka and Emeka together. So you can see ChatGPT has maintained the description it gave me earlier on about Chiamaka and Emeka together but performing different actions. So, so you can see Chiamaka and Emeka sitting together on a wooden bench under a baobab tree. That's the, the scene one. And the scene two is a quiet section. That is where Chiamaka and Emeka mecca in the university library learning but the same description this one way you can create consistent images and the next thing i asked chatgpt was what are the action in each of these scenes what i needed was the actions so the first scene was chiamaka and emeka sitting together on a wooden bench they are laughing and engaging in a lively conversation the natural setting creates a sense of warmth and connection between them so now what i'm going to do is to copy these actions i'm going to copy these actions and go to my google docs so i'm going to paste my actions here so these are my actions now it's time for us to create consistent images for us to create consistent images we need to divide our prompt into two the first first part is going to be the base and the second part is going to be the action. Now what I want you to take note of is that the base doesn't change. It is the action and the background that keeps changing. So you see I have divided this prompt of Chiamaka into two. The, the base is the subject and the detailed description of the subject. So you can see from here Chiamaka and everything about Chiamaka ends here. And then the next line is the action plus the background and other supporting elements. So I'm going to put this into the different color or one color let me change this to blue what i'm going to do is to copy the prompt 
of Chiamaka and go to Google Image Effects. So go to your browser, type Image Effects and click on the first option. Now we are going to paste our prompt here. So let's paste our prompt here. Paste the prompt here. Then bring your cursor to the down here, the settings. We're going to click on the settings like this. Maintain the best quality. Choose the aspect ratio, either square, portrait, landscape, mobile portrait or mobile landscape. Before we continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscription button to subscribe to this channel if you found value in this video and also click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any video on this channel. Also leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about this video and your next expectation on this channel and also share the video with families and friends who need this video. Let's continue. For the purpose of this video, we are going to choose a landscape that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We are going to leave the seat open like this. I'm going to explain this later. So now let's go back to our prompt and click on the create button. You can choose any of these effects to be added to your prompt. I'm going to maintain this like this and click on the create button. Great. So you can see image effects has given me a detailed description of Chiamaka and this is exactly what we requested from image effects. So now the next we are going to do is to change the action of Chiamaka to see whether we are going to get the same image. So now let's move our cursor down and change the action. So we are going to go back to, we are going to go back to our prompt and change the action. So let's say, let's change the action from here. Chiamaka is standing confidently. So we're going to change it to sitting. So we're going to change the action to sitting. So let's go back to the prompt. We're going to change the standing to sitting. Now, before we click on the create button, come bring your cursor to the down here and let me explain the seed for you. Now, this numbers you see here is a seed of this image. That is what image effects use to create this particular image. To maintain the similarity or the same image in the next creation, you need to click on this padlock to lock the seed of this image. When you click on open and you come to your prompt and click on the create button, you are going to get different images. But because we want the similarity or we want the same image to appear in the next creation, we have to click on the padlock to lock the seed of this image. That is how we create consistent images and image effects. So click on the padlock like this to lock it. Now let's go back to our prompt and click on the create button. Now you can see with this, the background has changed and the action too has changed in this particular image. Now what we're going to do is to bring a mecha into this image. Now let's go back to our prompt and copy the description of Emeka. So we're going to copy the description of Emeka from here. So let's go to the next prompt where we have Emeka. So this is the prompt of Emeka. I've divided that into two to this a detailed description and this is the action. This is the action of Emeka in this particular prompt. So we are going to copy only the description of Emeka. So we're going to copy this and go back to image effects. We are going to find a place to paste this prompt. So we're going to add it to where the description of Chiamaka ends. So you can see red and gold. So we're going to bring it here. So you can see Chiamaka is sitting confidently. So you're going to make it Chiamaka and Emeka. Ah, so we're going to remove the is sitting confidently on a bench. So what I'm so what I'm going to do is to go back to my Google Docs and copy one of the actions ChatGPT gave us. So let me go to my docs. So you see Chiamaka and Emeka are sitting together on a wooden bench. They are laughing and engaging in a lovely conversation so i'm going to copy this like this and go back to image fx so i'm going to add it somewhere here it doesn't matter wherever you put it i'm going to paste it here i'm going to click on the create button to create the next one to see if you're going to get the same image running through so you see what i'm talking about the image of chiamaka didn't change in the next creation because we have locked the seed here so let me show you the seed is still locked so it did not change that is how we create consistent images using the image fx so now we are going to change the action to see whether we are going to get the same images running through again so let's go back to our actions this is where we have the actions and copy this one we are going to copy the same three action the proposal so copy it like this then let's go to image fx we are going to delete the previous action first then paste the current one so this is a previous one delete it like this then paste the current one so this is a current one let's check whether our seed is locked before we click on the create button so our seed is locked let's go back and click on the create button wow so you can see what is happening here we have the same images again you can see emeka proposing to chiamaka here with the friends happily cheering them up and clapping so you are going to download this to our drive this is another download button so you can download these images now let's try the next action again to see whether we're going to get the same images so let's delete the current 
action like this and delete it now let's go back to our action and copy one of the actions to see whether we are going to get the same images again so we have chiamaka and emeka walking to the market so let's copy this go back to image fx and paste it now let's click on the create button Wow, so I hope you can see how nice and beautiful these images are. The AI has been able to maintain the consistency in the images. You can see Chiamaka and Emeka working together in the market. Let's click on the download button to download it. So if you want to confirm whether what you are creating is matching what you have already created, you can come to the top here where we have the arrow and scroll back to what you have done so far. This will give you an idea of what you have created, whether there are, there are changes or it's still the same images that you are, you are creating you can see the similarities in all the images that you have created so far so this is how you can use the google image effects to create consistent images for your storytelling videos all you have to do is to divide the prompt into two the base and the action the base contains the subject and a detailed description of the subject the while the second part contains the action background and other supporting elements in the prompt so you can see what i did to cheer markers prompt i divided that into two that's a base which contained detailed description of chiamaka up to the gold and then the second part of the prompt was the action and the background so i hope i've enticed you enough to start using google image fx to start creating consistent images for your storytelling videos what do you like about this video is this something that you would like to try let me know that in the comment section but if you're already using this google image fx to create images for your videos let me know your experience about this in the comment section if you have what the previous video I, I created on how to create bible prayer videos and motivational videos with ai that video will pop up after watching this video click on it go and watch and let me know your feedback in the comment section now these are some of the images i created with image fx this is the first one this is another one this is also another one and this is also another one you can see the consistency it has maintained throughout the creation 